Welcome students, teachers, friends, and family. It is our pleasure to welcome you all to the 2023 Gander Collegiate Graduation Ceremony. I'm Maya Jane Kelly, and this is Gavin Burry and Leah Greening, and we'll be your MCs for this evening's ceremony. It is an honor to graduate amongst such an inspiring and intelligent group of young adults. Ladies, you look amazing as always. And guys, I'm shocked to say you don't look like roadkill tonight, so good job on that. <laughs> to begin our evening, we would like to welcome the Mayor Percy Farwell to say a few words. Thanks so much, and uh, it's uh, such a privilege and an honor to, be, to get a chance to be here. And, and I got the best seat in the house here, looking out at this uh, beautiful, uh, beautifully dressed, uh, diverse, energetic, bursting with potential array of humanity that's here in front of me. And no, I wasn't talking about the guys I was sitting with. <clears throat> They're good too. But uh, it is, uh, it's such a, a privilege to be here. This is, by the way, the, uh, the 46th, you, you are the 46th uh, graduating class from the building on, uh, on McGee Road. And I know that because I keep track of it because I was in the graduating class of the first year that building was, uh, was <laughs> opened, <laughs> which is the way I, is a, just a little uh, tactic I use to remind myself of how old I am. But uh, it's, just, uh, it's just amazing to stand here and, and look out at, uh, at the, you know, the focal point of this, of course, is the people here in the front rows that we just saw parade out. And, uh, and appropriately, I think, sitting behind you are hundreds of people who've been behind you, all of you, uh, throughout your journey so far in your, in your lives. And uh, you wouldn't have gotten where you are without their support. And uh, if you haven't told them today that you appreciate it, uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, because, uh, because it's true, they, you know, the, the people who are here, who are behind you are, have been there for you your whole lives and, and will be there for you tomorrow. Hopefully not to bail you out. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm sure they would do that too if, if it became necessary. But um, I just want to say, you know, you, you folks are, are you're, you're young men and women. You're, uh, so I, I understand from talking to Mr. Drover, you, you, we have, you know, uh, international students in, in the uh, graduating class this year, which I think is amazing, and a special welcome to those that are in your uh, class from, uh, from other countries that have come here to uh, complete their high school education. Uh, I'm sure you, you've fit right in, and you're, uh, you're going to enjoy your day and your night like everybody else. Um, you know, and, and to, to, to the grads, you're, you're at a juncture in your life now. You're, you're completed one stage. It's, it's a long and winding road. I'm still on it. I'm 62. I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up. So many, many of you may know that now, and many of you don't. And in either way, it's all good because, uh, because you know, your life is, has, has been and will be a series of choices mixed with a series of blind dates of things that you can't possibly anticipate or don't come quite as advertised. And um, you have been prepared by your teachers and your parents and your, all those that love you to deal with all those things. And you're going to embark on another phase now where there's a certain uh, greater level of independence. And you're going to put those skills into, into use. <clears throat> and I'm sure you're ready for it. And I can't wait to see what will become of you as individual, unique people contributing to some of you will still be here contributing to this town, which is awesome. I'd like all of you to be here, but I know that won't be the case. But you will all be contributing to society wherever you are in your own unique, special way and, and using your own unique, special strengths and interests and, uh, and abilities. And as long as you uh, go through all of that, just being true to yourselves and being respectful and kind and accepting of all those that you encounter. I think it's going to be a great ride for everybody and the world is going to be a lot better off for the 150 out of you that have uh, gotten here today. So congratulations for, uh, 
for uh, getting, getting where you are. It's not easy. <clears throat> there's, there's, it's not always pretty, but here you are. And, and I can guarantee you, you're all pretty there tonight. Sorry, boys. Maybe you don't like being called pretty, but I, I was going to say, too, I, there's some beautiful sparkly dresses here, but the prize for the most sparkly pants goes to the gentleman over here in the <laughs> front row. <laughs> Not, not, not to be outdone. So uh, congratulations, grads of uh, 2023. Congratulations all those who are there behind you that, have, that are here to celebrate with you and have supported you all the way through. You're a big part of that too, obviously. This is your graduation as well. So uh, enjoy the rest of your evening and, uh, and uh, class of 23, enjoy the rest of your lives. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor Farwell, for those kind words. Next, we have a musical performance. Kathleen O'Rourke and Jane Zelser will sing Time to Say Goodbye, accompanied by Leslie Hewlett. Sono solo sogno l'orizzonte manca e barone. Si lo so che non se luce una stanza quando manchi al sole. Se non c'è se tu. Mostra tutto il mio cuore che ha ecceso Ci di dentro me la luce che ha incontrato per strada Time to Lontana sogno l'orizzonte mancan le parole E io sì lo so che sai con me, con me Tu mia luna, tu sai chi con me Io sole, tu sai chi con me, con me to say goodbye I see can I 
All right, that was beautiful, ladies. I'm sure you guys will thrive next year at music school. All right, now everyone prepare yourselves because next up we have the class rose, oh, the class tribute, presented by Alexa Sipianu and Max Collins. Good evening, everyone. Actually, before we get started, Kaylin, can you see all right from down there? <laughs> okay, perfect. It's so nice to see everyone here today to celebrate our accomplishments. Yes, and it's great to see that everyone actually showed up tonight. I figure Claire and Sydney might be out in Glenwood. <laughs> and Josh, I just want to say how shocking it is to see you in a suit and not in gym clothes, but shouldn't you be practicing volleyball right now? You too, Adam and Michael. I'm glad that you chose to wear something a little more modest than a way too tight tank top. <laughs> In all honesty, though, everyone looks so great tonight. It's nice to see everyone dressed to the nines. Although I'm going to miss high school, one thing I'm not going to miss is the GC parking lot. <laughs> I can't count how many times I've almost ran over A. Rich, Nolan, and Jaden sitting on their lawn chairs at lunch. <laughs> I second that. We also wanted to congratulate the sports teams for capturing so many banners this year. For example, for the first time since the 80s, our boys volleyball team won the 4A championship. And we can't forget... <laughs> and we can't forget about the boys basketball team who also won three A's. <laughs> Which is still a great accomplishment, of course. And let's not forget the ladies. Many of our girls' sports teams had record-breaking seasons, winning a total of six banners. We didn't only have success in sports, but in academics, too. Every year since coming to GC, our class has managed to have some of the top grades in the school. So true. Thanks in part to our French immersion class. Right, because all I seemed to hear from your class was singing every single Friday. <laughs> all jokes aside, it has been such an awesome year. In fact, the past 12 years we spent together have been the best. We've learned so much, made so ama many amazing memories, and grown as individuals. And though we couldn't mention everyone, we are beyond proud of you all. I'm so excited to see all of the amazing things that everyone will accomplish in the future. And Gavin, please don't forget us when you're famous. <laughs> Before we finish, Carter, do you have any questions for Ms. Batcher? <laughs> <laughs> Here's, Here's to, to the, the class, class of 2023. 2023. <laughs> Thank you. Next, we would like to ask Ms. Sheena Batcher to come to the stage to present the first group of scrolls. Now careful to those in heels. Don't fall. You're on TV.
first one's over there. It's just it's one by one? Not necessarily. Okay. It could be either. Yeah, he'll tell you left or right. <laughs> he'll tell you. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the first group of Gander Collegiate's 2023 graduates. Our first graduate is Ahmad Awali. Ahmad's favorite memory from GC is playing soccer. Along, along with playing soccer, his interests include playing chess, table tennis, basketball, American football, and skateboarding. Ahmad aspires to be a lawyer. Jaden Alger. Jaden's interest includes playing hockey. Her favorite memory of GC is the Europe 2022 trip. Jaden will be attending St. FX University in the fall. <laughs> Daniela Bajado. Daniela enjoys photography and filmmaking. Her best memory at GC was performing at the talent show this year. Daniela has plans to travel in the future. Hunter Barbario. Hunter loves anything related to the creative arts. His favorite memory while at GC is creating a movie with his friends for drama class. Hunter plans to attend university in the fall. Brandon Blackwood. Brandon loves to hunt, fish, and play hockey. His favorite memory of GC is skiing and gym class. His ultimate goal in life is to be successful. James Blackwood. James' hobbies include fishing, hunting, and driving. His favorite memory at GC is participating in the Beaumont Hamill Hockey Tournament in grade 11. His plan he plans on going to school to complete non-destructive testing. I'll be quiet. <laughs> Hannah Patero. Hannah's interests include hockey, softball, and hanging out with her friends. Her favorite memory of GC is winning softball regionals against Grand Falls Windsor. She plans to further her education in law enforcement and become an RCMP officer. <laughs> Callie Baum. Callie enjoys late night drives, hanging out with her friends, and traveling. Her best memories from GC are from her grade 11 drama class. Callie will be attending UMB, where, she'll be, where she will be completing a degree in criminology. Charlotte Bound. Charlotte loves theater, music, and crochet. Her best memory at GC is a field trip to the courthouse with her science humans class. She wants to become a veterinarian. <laughs> Samuel Brackey. Sammy's interests include playing video games, listening to music, and writing. His favorite memory of GC is Halloween Havoc. Sammy plans to go to college in the fall. Riley Brown. Riley enjoys math, video games, and sleeping. Riley's plans include getting into an engineering program. <laughs> Benjamin Buckner. Benjamin enjoys dance, piano, singing, running, and reading. His favorite memory from GC is being a member of the cross country running team. Benjamin aspires to be a lawyer. Danielle Buckle. Danielle's interests include painting, drawing, and playing video games. Her favorite memories at GC are Mr. Drover's talks. Danielle wants to become a hairstylist. Ethan Budden. Ethan enjoys sports. He plans to work for a year before heading off to college. Andrew Bullen. Andrew loves riding his bike. 
His favorite memories of GC are playing basketball in the gym. Andrew wants to work in a grocery store. <laughs> Braden Burden. Braden enjoys playing video games, especially during textiles class. <laughs> Gavin Burry. Gavin's favorite activities are volleyball and gossiping with his friends. His best GC memory is of Megan Jones growling at teachers and crawling on all fours. <laughs> Gavin is moving to Toronto where he will be pursuing a career in the entertainment industry. Jonathan Burton. Jonathan likes playing basketball, baseball, and video games on his Xbox. His best memory of GC is going to school in his truck for the first time because he got to sleep in that day. Johnny will be going to College of the North Atlantic to do aircraft maintenance. <laughs> Michael Canning. Michael loves playing hockey. His favorite memory of GC is playing in the 2022 Beaumont Hamill Hockey Tournament. <laughs> Ella Carroll. Ella's interests include coaching gymnastics and hanging out with her friends. Her best memory of GC is Mrs. McDonald. Ella is attending Acadia University in the fall. <laughs> Alexa Cipiano. Alexa enjoys playing volleyball, listening to music, and hanging out with friends. Her best GC memory is winning the Megan Piercy Memorial Tournament. Alexa will be attending Memorial University this fall. Jessica Clark. Jessica loves reading and dance. Jessica will also be attending Memorial University this fall. <laughs> Olivia Clark. Olivia likes to sing, sleep, and make people laugh. Her favorite memory at GC is when her and DeBoz had a debate class with Miss Mills. Cameron Coles. Cameron loves working on his car and going for drives. His best memory of GC is being with his friends and Miss Mills' classes. <laughs> Julia Coles. Julia's interests include listening to music, firefighting, and spending time with her dog. Julia is planning on joining the military and or becoming a firefighter. Alexander Collins. Alexander loves to write, draw, and anything involving art. Alexander's best memory of GC was when he almost dropped out in grade 11, but Mrs. McDonald and Ms. Thatcher convinced him not to. Alexander wants to become an author. Max Collins. Max's interests include playing volleyball, tennis, and reading, and hanging out with his friends. His favorite memory of GC is winning the 4A Volleyball Provincials. Max is studying at Acadia University in the fall. <laughs> Sean Collins. Sean enjoys weightlifting, fitness, kayaking, philosophy, poetry, and the outdoors. His best memory of GC is meeting a German exchange student, Jana Marie, who pushed him to achieve greatness by challenging him and helped him find a better path when he needed it most. <laughs> Sean is attending Mon in the fall to complete a Bachelor of Engineering and also wants to become a bodybuilding and fitness coach. Yeah. Janelle Crisby. Janelle's interests include baking, going for drives, and hanging out with her friends. Her best memory of GC is Miss Mill's French class. Janelle is attending Memorial University where she will be completing the nursing program. Yeah. Sean DeSilos. Sean likes basketball, driving, and hanging out with his friends. One of his favorite memories at GC was ordering and having delivered Island Eats during class. <laughs> Sean plans to pursue a career in nursing. <laughs> Zachary Diamond. Yeah! Zach loves sports, traveling, and sightseeing. His favorite memory at GC is playing in the Beaumont Hamill. 
Zach is attending Kona and Port Basque in the fall to pursue non-destructive testing. <laughs> Rebecca Dwyer. Rebecca's interests include swimming, driving, and cars. Rebecca's best memories at GC was all the drama. <laughs> Rebecca, Rebecca will be attending Kona, where she will complete a program to become a heavy-duty equipment technician. <laughs> Jacob Edison. Jacob will be attending Memorial University in the fall to complete a degree in computer science. One of Jacob's favorite memories of GC is correcting all his math teacher's errors. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I'm his math teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander Edward Stepowski. Alexander enjoys driving, photography, and volunteering at Evangel. His best memory at GC was his first day of grade 12. Alexander will be attending Vanguard Bible College to become a pastor. <laughs> Sean Evans. Sean's favorite memory at GC was drama. Sean plans to join the military. <laughs> Caleb Fancy. Caleb enjoys basketball and spending time with his friends. His best memory at GC was winning the 3A Basketball Provincials. Caleb will be attending Memorial University in the fall to complete a degree in engineering. Luke Fancy. Luke's interests include cars and bikes. Luke plans to become an automotive technician. <laughs> Amy Feltham. Amy loves drawing, painting, and video games. Her favorite memory of GC was the class party they held for the intern teacher in OHS, as well as all her classes with Mrs. Snook. Allison Field. Allison is a very creative student and enjoys drawing and writing. Yeah. Annie Fleming. Annie's best memories of GC was the 2022 Europe trip. Annie will be studying at Acadia University this fall. Ethan Flynn Pond. Ethan's interests include working out and sports. His best memory of GC is graduating. <laughs> His future plans include moving out of Newfoundland and going to work. <laughs> and the last student of this group is Lucas Follett. Lucas plans to complete a degree in astronautical engineering. Thank you, Ms. Batcher. I will certainly miss learning the definition of a derivative in Cal class. Next up, we have Chelsea, Chelsea Hodder singing The Climb. inside my head saying you'll never reach it every step I'm taking every move I make feels lost with no direction my faith is shaking but I I gotta keep trying 
gotta keep my head held high There's always gonna be another mountain I'm always gonna wanna make it move Always gonna be an uphill battle Sometimes I'm gonna have to lose Ain't about how fast I get there Ain't about what's waiting on the other side Some facing the chances I'm taking. Sometimes my knock down. No, I'm not breaking. I may not know it, but these are the moments that I'm gonna remember me. Just gotta keep going. I gotta be strong Just keep pushing on Cause it's always gonna be another mountain I'm always gonna wanna make it move Always gonna be an uphill battle Sometimes I'm gonna have to lose Ain't about how fast I get there Ain't about what's waiting on the other side Chelsea, that was so lovely. I'm sure all the moms are sobbing right now. Next, we would like to welcome Ella Carroll for the tribute to the Gander Collegiate staff. to do a speech for grad. This lasted up until it came to writing it. This was really hard. To start, I want to give a big thanks to the teachers. You guys were awesome. We really appreciate every single thing you do for us, from the late nights spent grading, numerous extra help classes, and being able to put up with my endless questions. Nothing goes unnoticed. We've had a few really challenging years throughout our time at GC, but with all the help from you guys, our high school experience was still as best it could have been. I know we're a lot of work, sorry Miss LaPreeze for our endless talking, but your unrelenting kindness and patience has been instrumental in our success. Coming to school knowing we have teachers who have our backs made the hard days a little easier. Now, to the only teacher who would be crazy enough to deal with us for four years. Merci, Mr. Jackson. Our French class can't thank you enough. Through thick and through thin, you've been there for us and our emerging class 
is like a weird little family. <laughs> Your passion for the French language makes it a million times easier to learn. We're gonna miss you a lot. After all, who else has bad who else has a bad dad joke for every occasion? <laughs> Merci encore. Now I have to give a shout out to uh, another teacher who's probably the most excited to get rid of me. Just kidding. She loves me. Um, Ms. McDonald, you've been one of the most impactful teachers I've ever had. In your class, I never felt ashamed to speak whatever comes to mind, and the people in my class know I mean everything. <laughs> Basically, on the bio, the bio, bio, bio quote wall. Uh, my time in high school has been greatly improved because of your class and all you do for us. So thank you for your compassion, your jokes, and your crazy stories shared in class. I'm sure everyone would agree with me when I say we would steal a boat for you. <laughs> Before I end this speech, I have to give a special thanks to Emlyn for helping me make this sound more professional and flowy, and for adding fancy words like instrumental and resounding, which you haven't heard that one yet, but it's coming. Anyways, thanks, Emlyn. <laughs> um, Ms. Cooper, Ms. Batcher, Ms. McDonald, Ms. LaPreeze, and Mr. Jackson, Th those were my teachers this year. Um, thank you all for being the most awesome teachers that I could have had for my senior year. You guys made this the best senior year possible. From the class of 2023, a resounding thank you to every single teacher from kindergarten to now who have all made an incredible difference in our lives. I hope we can make you proud. And congrats, Mr. Dover, on your retirement. Okay, bye, thanks. <laughs>
but if I did, I'd be lying. I can't miss her. <laughs> she knows where I live. In fact, she moved on to my street. <laughs> she reminds me of this every day. It's going to be a long summer. Truth is, guys, I'm going to miss a lot about this group. I mean, Johnny Mason's work ethic. Um, Olivia Kinnan's excitement about biology. She's nearly as bad as me. And Emily Purcell reverse engineering everything that I say until not only she understands it, but everybody else in class as well. And I'll mess absolutely everything about Gavin Burry. I think what I'll miss most about this group is their huge heart. I mean, they always took the time to ask their teachers how they were doing, how they felt. And whenever I was having a bad day, they always took me on this crazy, messed up, random, hilarious journey for a couple of hours. And I mean, sometimes when I was really stressed out, nothing needed to be said. Josh Young would just walk up to me and he'd count our shoulders. How many shoulders do we have, miss? One, two, three, four. And I get that awkward side hug. And ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't get any better than that. Congratulations, guys. I am going to miss you. Is it on? Oh, thank you, Miss McDonald, for that truly enlightening speech. Um, my neurons definitely just form new pathways. So, um, we would like to take this time to thank Miss Heidi Cooper and Miss Leanne Mills for helping orchestrate this event on the student side of things. Sincerest apologies for not getting our forms in on time, but um, we appreciate your patience. Next up, we have a Celtic dance to "Eyes the By" by Serena Woolridge. Oh my gosh, absolutely amazing, as always, Serena. Uh, next, we would like to ask Miss Courtney LaPrise to come to the stage to present the second group of scrolls.
folks. <laughs> so I'm Miss Laprise, and I have the honor of reading out the names for the next third of students. Um, so first, we have Abigail Ford. Abigail's interests include driving around and working. <laughs> Next is Mark Freak. Mark enjoys playing video games and in the future plans on becoming an engineer. Jordan Fry. Jordan's favorite memories here at GC were during all of the Spirit Week fun. He also enjoys building Legos and watching movies. <laughs> Michael Gale. Michael has a big interest in cars and plans on becoming a heavy equipment operator. Brandon Gidge. Brandon enjoys playing volleyball and his best GC memory was winning the 4A Provincials. He plans on becoming an air traffic controller. Abby Gilbert. Abby is highly skilled at singing, acting, playing piano, and dance. Her best GC memories were of her grade 11 art class. She plans on becoming a primary education teacher. <laughs> Leah Greening. Leah is a skilled figure skater, plays softball, and enjoys spending time with her friends and family. Her best GC memories were of her grade 12 softball season, and she'll be attending St. Francis Xavier University to study nursing. <laughs> Olivia Harris. Olivia enjoys hiking, and her best GC memory is of Halloween Havoc. She plans on going into engineering. Russell Harris. Russell enjoys hunting, fishing, and driving around with friends. He will be studying to become a heavy equipment mechanic. <laughs> Joy Hanane. Joy is a skilled soccer player with her best GC memory at Sorry, being the indoor soccer princess last year. She is going to Memorial University to study engineering. Aaron Hicks. Aaron enjoys playing many sports, including basketball, volleyball, and softball. His best GC memory was winning the basketball provincials. He'll be pursuing an engineering degree at Memorial University. Jack Hillier. Jack enjoys playing volleyball, and his best memory is winning the 4A Provincials. He is planning on becoming a physiotherapist. <laughs> Chelsea Hodder. Chelsea enjoys playing basketball and singing. Her best GC memory was, help, was being in Miss McDonald's bio class. She will be going to Memorial University in hopes of going into social work. <laughs> Hillary Humphreys. Hillary enjoys playing softball, dancing, and crochet. Her best memory was playing hide and seek in the dark at the school with the softball team and Mr. Snook. She'll be pursuing a Bachelor of Science at Memorial University. Tyler Ireland. Tyler enjoys playing softball and watching baseball. His best memories here at GC were playing on the softball team. <laughs> Mark Freak. 
Marcus Jones. Marcus enjoys playing guitar. His best memory at GC was a cross-country provincials. He will be attending Mount Allison to become a pilot. <laughs> Megan Jones. Megan enjoys figure skating, watercolor, and watching Formula One. Her best GC memory was bio class with Ella and Miss McDonald. She'll be studying kinesiology at Memorial University. <laughs> Dylan Keats. Dylan enjoys volleyball and driving. His best GC memory was also winning the 4A championship. He's planning on becoming a heavy equipment operator. Janae Kelly. Janae enjoys crocheting and hanging out with her friends. Her best GC memory was the cafeteria cookies. She will be studying business at Memorial University. <laughs> Maya Jane Kelly. Maya Jane's hobbies include literally every school sport, and her best GC memory is winning the Megan Piercy Memorial Tournament. She will be studying science at Memorial University. <laughs> Colin Kennedy. Colin will be studying computer science at Memorial University. <laughs> Sadie Keough. Sadie's best GC memory was the lunch times with the girls. She is planning on taking the year off and traveling. <laughs> Olivia Kinden. Olivia enjoys figure skating and playing softball. Her best memories were of the softball season as well as Miss McDonald's bio class. She'll be attending Memorial University to major in behavioral neuroscience. Jack King. Jack enjoys sailing and being on or around the water in any way. His future plans involve becoming a firefighter and an automotive service technician at Kona. <laughs> Jaden Langdon. Jaden enjoys playing the guitar, making music, and hanging out with his friends. He plans on becoming an RCMP officer. Kaylin Layden. Kaylin enjoys playing hockey. His best GC memory was of the Beaumont Hamill Hockey Tournament, and he plans on studying to become a physiotherapist. <laughs> Nabusha Loganathan. Nabusha enjoys playing badminton and table tennis, as well as reading. She plans on studying to become a forensic pathologist. Jalen Lynch. Jalen enjoys driving her skidoo and traveling. Her best GC memories were of her bio class this year. She plans on studying to become an instructional resource teacher. <laughs> Joseph Lynch. Joseph enjoys riding his dirt bike, skidoo, and playing sports. His best GC memories are of the Drover chant. He plans on becoming a heavy equipment technician. <laughs> Madison Lyons. Madison enjoys cadets and music. Her best GC memories are of going to the school hockey games. She plans on studying to become a nurse. Claire McDonald. Claire enjoys playing the piano, reading, and traveling. Her best GC memories of the school trip to Europe. She will be going into engineering at Memorial University. <laughs> Jack.
Jacob Mackey. Jacob enjoys playing video games and art. His best memory at GC was starting up the video game club for himself and other video game enthusiasts. He plans on going to Kona to study digital animation. <laughs> Finley McLean. Finley's best GC memory is winning the 3A Basketball of Provincials. He'll be going to the University of New Brunswick to do a Bachelor of Recreation and Sports Studies. <laughs> Chloe Manuel. Chloe enjoys hanging with her friends, going for drives, and spending time with her cat. Her best GC memories were made in bio class with Ms. McDonald. She'll be going to Memorial University to get a Bachelor of Arts. Jonathan Mason. Johnny enjoys driving, working out, and making money. His best GC memories were of his writing class with Miss Mills. In the future, he plans on becoming a policeman. Sorry. <laughs> Gabriel Mateo. Gabriel enjoys playing basketball, volleyball, and badminton. His best GC memory was playing basketball at lunch. <laughs> Leah Noonan. <laughs> Leah enjoys playing video games and hanging out with her friends. In Leah's future, she plans on making video games. Christopher O'Dell. Chris enjoys collecting vinyls and singing. He plans on becoming a psychologist and possibly making music. Kathleen O'Rourke. Kathleen is skilled at singing, acting, and writing. Her best GC memory is of the cake auctions, no matter how chaotic they get. She's going to Mon to get a joint degree in music and business, then pursue performance and operas. <laughs> Caitlin Oram. Caitlin enjoys reading, listening to music, playing video games, playing badminton, and archery. Her best GC memory was meeting all of her friends in school. She plans on becoming a hairstylist or a makeup artist. <laughs> Carly Oram. Carly is a skilled figure skater. And last but not least, Darren Orfua. <laughs> Darren's best GC memories of the Terry Fox walk that happened in the rain. He will be attending Mun and aiming to get into a pre-med program. Thank you, Ms. LaPreeze. It was such a pleasure to learn chemistry with you for our senior year. Next, we'd like to ask Olivia Kinney to come, to come toast the parents and guardians, please. On behalf of the class of 2023, I would like to take a couple of minutes to thank the special people in our lives who've been there every step of the way 
over the last 18 years, our parents and guardians. Though you want to make this day all about us, we also want to celebrate you and all of the ways you, co you have contributed so greatly to our success. Parents and guardians, You've been our heroes and inspirations from the moment we took our first steps. You were our first teachers who showed us everything from writing our names to creating our own authentic personalities. Thank you for all the storybooks you read before bed and for selflessly making time to sit on the floor and play with us amongst all the other household chores still awaiting after your long day at work. Thank you for holding our little hands on the first day of kindergarten piggybacking us around the grocery store when our little legs got too tired, and for proudly displaying our primary school art projects, though they certainly weren't professional. As we grew older, thank you for forcing us to do our homework, even when we kicked up a fuss. Thank you for being our personal chauffeurs to sports practice, music lessons, and everywhere else you could possibly imagine. We've certainly cost you a fine chunk of money over the last 18 years, so thank you for all the sacrifices you've made to provide all we've needed and wanted. Thank you for every committee, executive, or volunteer organization that you've poured your time and energy into so that we could do the things we love most. And to all the parents involved behind the scenes to pull this event together tonight, thank you for the magical evening you've prepared for us. Looking... <laughs> Looking back over our teenage years, each small gesture of kindness has made such a big impact, and none of them have gone unnoticed. Thank you for canceling your plans or rearranging your schedules last minute to accommodate us even when we knew about our thing a week in advance but forgot to mention it. Thank you for picking up, af picking up after our messes when we forgot to put our dishes in the sink or thought the back of the chair was a better place for our coat than the closet. We knew that handling our tears, our mistakes, and sometimes cranky attitudes has not always been easy. But you've proven your patience and resilience time and time again. Though we may have acted like we had it all together sometimes, every piece of advice you've offered us has been taken to heart. Thank you for putting everything else on hold when we needed you and for never being more than a text away. You've supported us through our biggest accomplishments and toughest failures and given so much without, respect, without expecting anything in return. To my own parents, mom and dad, thank you for providing me with the best example of how to be compassionate, hardworking, and well-rounded. Thank you for teaching me from a very young age to live by the motto, humble and kind, and for demonstrating exactly how to do that. You've given me every opportunity to follow my dreams and guided me every step of the way. I'm endlessly grateful, and I'm sure my fellow graduates feel the same. Though our future endeavors may be taking us away from home next year, we'll always be your little babies. And trust me, we will always need you. Just give us a couple of weeks into our first semesters, and we'll be fantasizing about your home-cooked meals. And I'm sure you'll be receiving plenty of phone calls when we need grounded advice or reassurance. You'll always be our shoulder to cry on and our safe place to run when life gets tough. Nonetheless, you've shaped us to be strong, fearless, capable, and intelligent individuals, and we already owe so much of our future success to you. <coughs> As the class of 2023, we gather here tonight to celebrate one of the most significant milestones in our lives, but also to celebrate those who helped us get here. On behalf of my fellow graduates, I would like to express the biggest thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Parents and guardians, your support, encouragement, and guidance has meant the world. We appreciate you, we love you more than you know, and we wouldn't have made it here without you. Thank you for everything. Perfectly said, Olivia, thank you. I think we can all agree that we have amazing parents and guardians by our sides. Next up, we have Rosalind Richardson doing the parent response. Hello. 
For those of you who don't know me, I'm Adam Richardson's mom, or A. Rich. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me check. Whew, I made it. Adam's finally graduated, and I managed not to go totally gray. Seriously, though, you all look amazing tonight. I want you all to enjoy this night to the fullest. Each and every one of you have earned the right to be here. So give yourselves a pat on the back. Some of you know what you want to do, while others are still deciding. And that's OK. The best advice I can tell you is to whatever you decide to do, enjoy it. Be happy in life. And you've always got your supports. Just before you started high school, Mr. Drover called us parents and guardians together. And I remember him saying, blink, your child has graduated. I thought, <laughs> yeah, right. Guess what? I shouldn't have blinked. Because here you are. On behalf of myself, and all of our parents and guardians and family members here tonight, I want to say how proud we are of each and every one of you. And we can't wait to see what your future holds. I'd like to ask all the families and friends that are here tonight with the graduates to stand and give our graduates a big hand and applause. Thank you. Thank you, Rosalind. Before we continue, we would also like to thank the parent committee for putting all the hard work and time to make this a memorable night for us all. So a big thank you to the committee chair, Audrey Taj, as well as the subcommittee members, Carla Humphreys, Stephanie Kelly, Kathleen Kinden, Sheila Pinson, Rebecca redmond McLean, Rosalind Richardson, Susan Tiller, and Shelly Yetman. We really appreciate it. All right, so next up, we have a musical performance by Charlotte Bound. She is performing Tonight Tonight, and it will be accompanied by Leslie Hewlett.
And you know you're never sure But you're sure you could be right If you held yourself up to the light And the embers never fade In your city by the lake The place where you were born Thank you, Charlotte, for the captivating performance. Next, we would like to welcome our Professor de Francais, Mr. Jackson, to present the final group of scrolls. Stand up now. Oh, he is standing. Sean Parsons. Sean enjoys reading, playing hockey and chess, and he plans to study biochemistry at Mon, and his favorite memory at GC is when Rags performed in the gym in grade 11. <laughs> Brooklyn Payne. Brooklyn plans to attend Acadia University to pursue a Bachelor of Kinesiology degree. 
Her favorite memory is beating Gonzaga in the semifinals at the 4A softball championships and being able to participate in the first ever female division in the Beaumont Hamill Cup. She enjoys sports such as hockey and softball and spending time with family and friends. <laughs> Noah Pilgrim. Noah enjoys guitar, driving, and is unsure of his plans for next year. Adam Pinsent. Adam will play in the Alberta Junior Hockey League next year. His favorite memory of GC is playing in the Beaumont Hamill Hockey Tournament. Kendra Pittman. Kendra plans to enroll in the program of auto body technician at College of North Atlantic. Lisa Pittman. Her favorite memory at GC is playing Hay Day anywhere, anytime. She enjoys skiing, working, gaming, and she plans to complete a Bachelor of Science degree and pursue a career in medicine. <laughs> Megan Preston. Megan enjoys reading, traveling, driving, and spending time with family and friends. She plans to enroll in a Bachelor of Science program at Grenfell Campus. Jelena Price. Next year, Jelena plans to study conservation wildlife biology, pursuing a Bachelor's of Agriculture in the area of bioveterinary and plant science. Her favorite memories are math competitions with Mrs. Vatcher, and in her free time, she enjoys dance, crochet, and powerlifting. <laughs> Cole Pryor. Next year, Cole will begin Bachelor of Science program at MON. <laughs> Emmeline Purcell. She enjoys playing volleyball and tennis, as well as spending half of almost all her classes on Pinterest. I didn't know that. Her favorite memories at GC are of spending nearly every lunch with her friends in Ms. Vatcher's class gossiping and the entirety of Bio 2201 with Ella. In September, she will begin a Bachelor of Science program with ambitions of going into pharmacy. <laughs> Kyra Quinton. Kyra's favorite memory at GC is winning the Megan Piercy Memorial Volleyball Tournament. In her free time, she enjoys playing volleyball and hanging out with her friends. Next year, she plans to, intend, to attend More Memorial University, doing a Bachelor of Science and majoring in psychology. <laughs> Braden Reed. Braden enjoys music, sports such as hockey, baseball, ultimate frisbee, and next year, he plans to study music. Adam Richardson. He plans to attend College of North Atlantic to study aircraft maintenance engineering in September. His favorite memory at GC is lawn chair days in the lot. And he enjoys basketball and chilling with the boys. Joshua Rideout. Joshua enjoys being a father, working, and going on gander, rant, and roar. His favorite GC memory is Mr. Drover when he does the GC chant. Cindy Robinson. Cindy's hope is to become an engineer and inspire the world. 
Her favorite memories are her first day and musical chairs. She enjoys singing, cooking, watching documentaries, and eating. <laughs> Kirsten Robson. Her favorite memory is of Mrs. Stanley's art, art class both years. Next year, she plans to attend College of North Atlantic for medical laboratory technology. <laughs> Zachary Rogers. Zachary wishes to become a wildlife technician. His best GC memory would probably be when he rebuilt the motor in power and energy. In his spare time, he enjoys fishing and hunting. Roan Ruea. Roan enjoys basketball and gym activities. Evan Sargent. His favorite memory is playing in the Beaumont Hamill Cup. Next year, he plans to go to College of North Atlantic in Seal Cove to become an industrial electrician. In his free time, he likes sports and hanging out with friends. <laughs> Nolan Shepard. Nolan plans to join the Army as an MSEOP. His favorite memory at GC is disturbing Mr. Rowe's peace. <laughs> Having silly conversations in class with him, and he enjoys in his spare time camping and gaming. Rebecca Sims. She enjoys driving the R18. Her favorite memories here are of Mr. Hicks, and next year she hopes to study diagnostic ultrasonography. <laughs> Shane Simpson. Shane will be at College of North Atlantic in September to become a heavy equipment operator. In his free time, he enjoys skidooing, downhill skiing, surfing, travel, going to the gym, and driving. <laughs> Michael Sinnott. Michael enjoys reading, video games, exercise, his favorite memory is of getting good grades, and he plans on attending Mon to study business. <laughs> Brianna Smith. Brianna plans to pursue a Bachelor of Science degree, hoping for a career in forensic science. In her free time, she likes to play volleyball, and her favorite memory is of the Megan Piercy Memorial Tournament in 2022. <laughs> Melissa Spencer. Melissa hopes to pursue a career in graphic design. In her spare time, she likes anime and video games. Luke Taj. Luke will be pursuing a Bachelor of Science degree at Mon, where he has been awarded the Early Entrance Scholarship, and he enjoys crosswords and has fond memories of doing crosswords instead of paying attention. <laughs> Brooke Tiller. Brooke will be studying at College of North Atlantic, for destructive, non-destructive testing. Her favorite memory at GC is hanging out in the office with her bestie, Kim. In her free time, she enjoys reading. Storm Tulp. Storm plans to study international business management at the University of Ottawa. He enjoys hockey, driving around with the boys, and Michael Shedd. His favorite memory is playing in the Beaumont Hamill Tournament.
Haley Turner. Haley will be going to Mon for physical education in the hopes of becoming a teacher. Her favorite memories are the daily chin throws from Mr. Bill Abbott. In her free time, she enjoys volleyball, driving, motorcycle, watching sunsets, lifeguarding, dancing, and singing with friends. <laughs> Hannah Vokey. Hannah enjoys art and writing. She will be attending Mon in the hopes of studying pharmacy. Julia Wall. Julia hopes to become a math teacher, and her pastimes are reading and swimming. Her favorite memory at GC is Biology 2201 with Mrs. McDonald. <laughs> Ethan Waterman. He enjoys basketball and gaming, plans to pursue a Bachelor of Science degree at Mon. Nick Westland. Nick is not sure what he's doing next year, but I'm sure he'll enjoy it. <laughs> Simone Whalen. Simone enjoys hanging out with her friends and cross-stitching, and she plans to study primary education at Mon. Travis Wiseman. Travis wants to be a piano general or general music teacher. His favorite memories are of playing piano and chatting with friends in the music room. In his spare time, he enjoys piano, drawing, painting, and chess. <laughs> Serena Woolridge. Serena will be attending UNB to complete a Bachelor of Science in Engineering, and her pastimes are dance, softball, traveling, and spending time with friends and family. Her favorite memory at GC is the 4A Softball Provincials 2022. <laughs> Carter Yetman. Carter plans to study dentistry and his favorite pastimes are hockey, basketball, mixed shed, and favorite memory is playing in the Beaumont Hamill hockey tournament. <laughs> Luke Yetman. Luke will be attending Mon next year to study engineering. <laughs> Joshua Young. His ambition is to complete a sports medicine degree while playing volleyball with the Dalhousie men's volleyball team. He spends his free time playing volleyball and his favorite memory is winning the 4A Volleyball Provincials. <laughs> Sydney Young. Sydney will be enrolling in a Bachelor of Commerce program and her favorite memory is grade 11 ball hockey provincials, and she enjoys hanging out with friends and listening to music. <laughs> Jane Zelser. Jane will be specializing in opera performance as her pursuit. Her favorite pastimes are music and art. <laughs> and there's one more. Uh, I can't make this out. Mr. Snook, can you give me a hand? Yes, sir. Oh, it's in English, sir. That's why you couldn't. Oh. It's good. <laughs> um, yeah, there's one more graduate here. Don't know how it got overlooked. And uh, don't know why it wasn't in alphabetical order. But our last graduate, Mr. Greg Drover. <laughs> Thank you, sir.
high school diploma presented to Mr. Gregory Drover, who, after 3,515 teaching days, 90 snow days, 190 staff meetings, 513 center voice messages, 38 cake auctions, don't forget the COVID days, and too many to count. Let's go. Has finally graduated from Gander Collegiate, class of 2023. For those of you, I guess, who may not be aware, uh, Mr. Drover uh, is retiring this year, and uh, by this year, I mean this evening. Uh, Mr. Drover's punched 19 years uh, as principal of Gander Collegiate and has poured his heart and soul into the students and staff during his career at Gander Collegiate. And uh, over the past five years for me, since I've been at his side. Um, I've seen the man work countless hours behind the scenes, behind closed doors, making difficult decisions, having difficult conversations, but ultimately doing what is best for you, our youth, and our future. So I present to you our final graduate of 2023, Mr. Greg Drover. Ooh. Oh, my. Oh, way to go. I need to get that out. Oh, I have been humbled this week. I have had students, staff, former students that I have not seen in 10, 15 years. Uh, call me up and uh, or send me a card or an email or a text and say, Mr. Drover, I heard you were retiring. And I said, yeah, yeah. And he said, we're having trouble with that. A couple of them said, and particularly one young man said, Sir, I can't imagine GC without you and I'm not so sure I can imagine me without GC either. Wearing these colors for the past 19 years has been the greatest honor uh, that I could have wished for. Thank you for that. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I said, well, I'll make up a speech, you know. And uh, last one, give it the old collegiate Troy, you know, Greg boy, give her. And I uh, said, yeah, no problem, done it. Wasn't quite ready for this week. Really wasn't. Caught between a world of betwixt and between. Knowing it was my time to retire after 30 years in a great profession. Knowing that 28 years as a principal took a toll and it was time for me to step aside and give the reins to Mr. Snook who I know will do a great job because it's a great staff. This is a great community. The Gander School system 
is a great system. From K to 12, it is a phenomenal system. I've, I've seen it develop and grow. And uh, when I got up after my bike ride this evening, I did 40K and I got home and I said, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can do this speech. And then you put the GC colors on me and I'm not so sure where I'm to right now, but my heart is broke. You don't put your heart and soul into something and all of a sudden say, yep, I'm done. People told me that it would be easy, but many of you out there, parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, moms, dads, stepmoms, stepdads, know what I'm talking about if you've retired. It's not always that easy. So, what to do? I'm gonna try and swallow this lump in my, my throat, tell my heart to start Stop not jumping from my chest. Get after it. Speak. Because in tough times, you got to do what you have to do. And uh, I'll read this speech. Yes, I know someone was making a crack about my long center voice messages or <laughs> announcements at school. Yeah, I got it. So, if you bear with me, ladies and gentlemen of GC, I would like to read what I prepared for you. <sighs> okay. <sighs> All right, let's give her. Tonight, in my final act as principal of Gander Collegiate, I want to thank you for allowing me the honor and privilege to speak to you. I have encountered thousands of young people in my career, and since 2004, I can think of no better way to retire than to speak to a group of GC graduates. I have always given a lot of thought to these speeches, and hopefully tonight I can leave you with something inspirational, or at least thought-provoking. Stephen Hawking once said, remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. People have been looking at the stars and being filled with wonder for millennia. Tonight, I don't want to focus on stars or starry nights, but on faith or the belief in someone or something. I'm going to connect two stories that happened long ago and were separated by great distances and great time. The first story begins with three wise men. And this is a very old story, and I know most of you know it. The three wise men were Balthazar, Gaspar, and Melchior. They left a small village in Sava in Iran to follow a star shining in the west. They traveled 1,700 kilometers by camel, donkey, and on foot along the Great Silk Road. Their goal was to visit a baby in a manger in a tiny town known as Bethlehem. If you take a few seconds to think about the faith those three men must have had to travel such great distances and across hostile terrain, then you would wonder at their commitment and devotion. Yet so little is known about them. Imagine saying to your loved ones, I'm going to go follow a star. I'll be away for several years, pursuing something I believe in, and it is something that I have to do. What strength do you must have to follow such conviction? Does it sound familiar? That's what you're about to do. Now, I want to jump ahead 1,200 years. I'm sure the English teachers here are having a conniption and talking about coherence and all that sort of stuff, but you gotta bear with me. 1,200 years later, to Venice, Italy, and a 17-year-old young man who traveled with his father and his uncle, again along the Great Silk Road, to the court of the great Kublai Khan in China. That young man was Marco Polo, and it is in his book, The Travels, that we come upon the tale of the three magi, Balzar, Gaspar, and Melchior, once more. 1,200 years later, 
Polo wrote in his book, while in prison for heresy, because people couldn't believe his tall tales, for they had no faith in the words of an old man. Marco tells us that after the three magi had their visit with the babe in the manger, they fled back to Iran. They, for they feared, and I quote, the wrath of Herod, king of Judea. He tells us that the wise men were given a gift by the infant's family, a small wooden box. And as they drew closer to their home and, and tired from their journey, they began to question themselves, and I believe they lost faith. They took out the small box and heard something rattle inside, opened it and discovered a round stone. Now, if you're anything like me, at this point, you can feel their frustration. Imagine traveling all that way, with a, you know, over the Silk Road, difficult times, hard journey. You could hear them as they stood around giving the first ever Rick Mercer rant. We travel all these ways, chasing a star to find a baby in a manger, laid all sorts of riches at his feet, escaped with our lives just barely, and what in the name of all that's good has that camel been eating? They're fed up. So what do they do? So they took the stone and they threw it into a well. And Polo, Marco Polo records for us, and I quote, no sooner had it fallen in than there descended from heaven a burning fire which came straight to the well into which it had been thrown. When the three kings saw this miracle, they were taken aback, repented for their throwing away the stone, for they saw clearly that its significance was great and good. They immediately took some of this fire and carried it to their country and put it in their churches, a very fine and splendid building. They kept it perpetually burning and worshiped it as a gift from God, and every sacrifice and burnt offering which they made, they roasted with this fire. If it ever happens that the fire goes out, they go round to others who hold the same faith and are given some of the fire that burns in their church. This they bring back to rekindle their own fire." End of quote. Now, in Iran, there is an ancient city called Sava, from which the legend or the story of the tree magi set out from. It exists. It's there. It is said in this city that those three magi are buried in the Great Sepulchre. And according to Marco Polo, and I quote again, the child had given it to them to signify that they should be firm as a stone in their belief. For me, an end of quote, sorry, for me, the fire that came out of heaven and shot up out of the well is very much like the fire within each of us. It's a gift. The flame we have inside to go and search to achieve is a gift. Each of us has a star to follow, a leap of faith for each of us to take. Following that star will not be an easy journey. There will be doubters and perils along the way. When we believe we have reached our destination and find that which we seek, we give it all that we have. We become filled with this great sense of accomplishment and wonder. A fire burns within each of us. But each journey comes with its own challenges and rewards. There are times when we question what we do it for. We question the faith we had in ourselves, in our dreams, and in the faith that others had in us. And at times, we want to throw it all away. Go ahead and ask your mom, your dad, Nan, Pop, Aunt, Uncle, if I'm wrong. We've all been there. However, as Dr. Martin Luther King observed, it is only in the darkness can you see the stars. 
The Magi had to travel at night to see the star of Bethlehem. Because you do not achieve by faith alone. You have to do and you have to work. The fire within each of us is bright and fierce. If your faith in yourself is as solid as a stone, then you will build great sepulchers of success around you that will stand the test of time. If your fire diminishes, then surround yourself with those who share the same faith and rekindle your flame. Over the years, my faith in our students has been rock solid. I've spent my career saying to young people, I don't see the student in front of me. I see what you can be. I see the star you're pointing at. Tonight we're not here to celebrate a starry sky, but to acknowledge the faith that we all have in you. So on behalf of myself and my wife, Sherry, and my entire GC family, stay true to yourself. Follow your own star. Start your future journey tonight. And if there's one more thing that I could say as I'm dressed in these last GC colors, you know what's coming. <laughs> My last time. Are we ready? Because sometimes we're not ready. It's like a cake auction. I'm always ready for a cake auction, but someone is just not ready for the cake auction. Like I just, we're ready, right? My last time, ladies and gentlemen, and it's been my absolute privilege and honor to be your principal. God love you all. Way to go! Thank you to Mr. Jackson for presenting the scrolls, and thank you, Mr. Drover, for your great advice, your kindness, and your years of dedication as principal at Gander Collegiate. GC will certainly miss your presence, but I am more than confident that the school will be left in great hands by Mr. Snook, or should I say Carrie, now that we're graduated. <laughs> we are, oh, sorry. Uh, Settle down, Greening. <laughs> Settle down. Those are your rules? It's not official yet. <laughs> you got about 30 minutes. <laughs> we would now like to ask Olivia Harris, Janae Kelly, Madison Loins, Lisa Pittman, and Simone Whalen to the stage to present the banner for the class of 2023.
Thank you, girls. Amazing job on the banner. It looks great on the walls of GC forever. We would like to thank the parent committee again for pulling off this phenomenal event. And we would also like to say a big thank you to those who have sponsored the parent committee. Without your help, none of this would have been possible. As we conclude, a reminder that the dance for the graduates, parents, guardians, dates, and guests will directly follow the ceremony. We will have a dance with a parent or a guardian as well as two choice dances in the gym. And as always, be real. <laughs> Thanks to everyone for coming and congrats to the class of 2023.
about this program, we'd love to hear it. Email or call us or send us your feedback through social media. At St. John Ambulance, we're all about community. We teach life-saving skills and provide community support through our volunteer services. All St. John Ambulance product sales and training registrations support these important services. Volunteer, donate, or enroll in a program today so we can continue to have an impact on our community. Visit sja.ca to learn more. At St. John Ambulance, we do more than save lives. We change lives. Looking for the best way to get the Major League Baseball games you want to watch? Rogers Super Sports Pack has you covered. With MLB Extra Innings, you'll have a premium ticket to out-of-market regular season games with all games available in HD. Don't miss the action from the games you want from both the American and National Leagues. MLB Extra Innings, part of the Super Sports Pack. For only $35.95 a month, Rogers customers get all this for one all-inclusive price. Order using your remote starting on Channel 431 or visit Rogers.com today. These days at your local Legion, we're marching to the beat of a different drum on a mission to support veterans, to have fun, and to welcome everyone to our ranks. You don't have to be a veteran to join the Legion. And as a member, you'll join thousands of others serving our veterans, our communities, and our country. Oh yeah, and our member perks program will save you thousands on shopping, dining, products, and services across the country. Join us at legion.ca.
This program is brought to you by Ignite TV.